Hey everyone, this is Mike with On Point Preparedness. Today, I have to share with you an incredible prophetic message that I believe was revealed directly to me by the Father. In this video, I will not only share with you the prophetic event that happened between Pope Francis and Donald Trump's May 24th meeting, but how God revealed its significant importance to me. As I write the words to this video, I am still marveling at the circumstances which led me to decipher this event. Many of you who have followed my works for the past year clearly understand that the prophetic chapters of the Bible irrefutably attribute the term Mystery Babylon to an anti-church of the end times, and that this church or false religion is led by the Vatican. It also states that there is a second beast, the beast of the earth, who subdues the world into worshiping the beast system, and that beast of the earth is the United States of America. If you are in disagreement with these concepts, or they are completely foreign to you, I have placed some of my most pivotal YouTube videos on this subject in the YouTube description box for your convenience. Ever since the events of September 23rd, 2015, where these two beasts came together for a historic event in which Pope Francis spoke to a joint session of Congress, I have followed the relationship of these entities in detail. Therefore, when Donald Trump took office, I took the position that Donald Trump was not a Christian savior appointed by the Lord, but the new head of the beast of the earth. But have you ever asked God for forgiveness? <laughs> I'm not sure I have. I just go and try and do a better job from there. I don't think so. I think I, if, I, if I do something wrong, I think I just try and make it right. I don't bring God into that picture. I don't. Now, when I take, you know, when we go and church and, and when I drink my little wine, which is about the only wine I drink, and have my little cracker, I guess that's a form of asking for forgiveness. And I do that as often as possible because I feel cleansed, okay? I stated on record in January 2017 that he and Pope Francis would come together, despite opposition from the mainstream media and many of my subscribers, who stated that the two were so diametrically opposed that they would not meet. And so, here we are on May 24th, 2017, where these two leaders have come together seeking common goals, that is, the unification of religions in the spirit of peace, solidarity, and combating extremism. All in all, their meeting lasted less than an hour, and on its surface, there was some symbolism that I had anticipated. That is, Trump and his family would submit to Pope Francis. Sure enough, they did so as Melania, Ivanka, and their aide all wore black veils and black dresses, which is a common practice of submission or respect amongst formal female visitors to the Vatican. This is in stark contrast to the fact that none of these women or any of the women in the Trump entourage wore any head covering at all during their visit to Saudi Arabia. However, the symbolism goes much, much deeper than this, and it is in regards to the gift that Donald Trump presented to Pope Francis. So what is this gift and what prophetic significance does it have? First, let me help you understand how God communicates with me and how he said that I must focus on Donald's gift. In running On Point Preparedness, I tirelessly research news articles, books, and even ancient texts. These activities, along with my full-time job, two children, and wife, prevent me from getting back to hobbies and the actual original founding purpose of On Point Preparedness which was based on wilderness survival. Three days earlier, on May 21st, 2017, with what little free time I had, I picked up the following wild edible book from my collection of about 12 or so 
wild edible books. Each of these books is several hundred pages long and contain information about hundreds of different plants. I was only able to read a single section about one plant, which I had not researched before, and that is the North American lotus plant, known as the Nambo Lutea. This event by itself is essentially meaningless. That is, until I recognized that one of the gifts that Donald Trump presented to Pope Francis was a bronze sculpture of the exact lotus species I was reading about three days earlier. Is it mere coincidence that of all the gifts that Donald Trump could present to Pope Francis, it would be one species of plant out of several thousands of species of plants? And that I, one who committed to his subscribers that this event would be prophetic and that I would be analyzing the symbolism, would have read about this very same species only three days earlier. So what is the important symbolism? The lotus is one of the most occult and ancient symbols of the natural world. And the fact that Donald Trump chose this sculpture, which was entitled Rising Above, is of grave concern. The lotus is the flower sacred to the Aryan Hindus, Egyptians, Buddhists, and more. References to it are found in the Egyptian Book of the Dead, the Jewish mystic religion of Kabbalism, and several other pagan religion texts and sculptures. For the occult, it represents the divine rebirth unto enlightenment, an abstract concept that is brought to life in the concrete or visible form of a lotus. It is, in essence, the same symbolism as the enlightenment of the all-seeing third eye. To name a few examples of its prevalence, you can see this in the occult film I Pet Goat 2, where a lotus flower is seen blooming at the heels of then President Obama. His face grows stark as he witnesses the reality of this transformative stage of enlightenment. In Egypt, you can see here the four sons of Horus being birthed out of the lotus flower. In Buddhism, Buddha is frequently attributed to holding the lotus, and the list goes on and on. The reason why the occult reveres this flower and its symbolism of rebirth unto enlightenment is best described by Helena P. Blavatsky, who is the co-founder of the Theosophical Society, and she writes specifically on the lotus flower. For reference, the Theosophical Society shares ideology and partnership with the Lucius Trust an organization that directly worships Lucifer and states that he is a misrepresented angel that sacrificed himself for the good of mankind. In her book, The Secret Doctrine, she references a passage from the Kabbalistic manuscripts which states, pointing to like signification was the lotus growing in the waters of the Nile its mode of growth peculiarly fitted it as a symbol of reproductive activities. The flower of the lotus, which is the bearer of the seed for reproduction, as the result of its maturing, is connected by its placenta-like attachment with Mother Earth, or the womb of Isis, through the water of the womb that is the River Nile, by means of the long cord-like stalk, the umbilicus, Nothing can be plainer than the symbol, and to make it perfect in its intended signification, a child is sometimes represented as seated in or issuing from the flower. So you can now see how the occult viewed the flower as a symbol of rebirth as a child, or this rebirth into enlightenment, represented by a child coming out of the flower head. The Kabbalistic manuscript continues with the sexual and reproductive symbolism of the lotus. It states the locality of the womb is to be taken as the most holy place, the sanctum sanctorum, 
and the veritable temple of the living God. This falls in line with all occult practices as they practice sex magic and literally worship the female body. She also makes note of the lotus from the ancient Egyptian ritual Book of the Dead, which has a section entitled Transformation into the Lotus. It states, a head emerging from this flower. The god exclaims, I am the pure lotus emerging from the luminous one. I carry the message of Horus. I am the pure lotus which comes from the solar fields. So, I believe that the Antichrist spirit was definitely at work in this meeting. Any multitude of gifts could have been given to Pope Francis. Books, medallions, sentimental items, other pieces of art, etc. But out of these multitudes, Donald Trump chose the Lotus. As the Egyptian Book of the Dead states, is Donald affirming that he carries the message or gift of Horus, an enlightened message essentially from Lucifer? I guess that is up for you to decide. One thing is clear, amongst the physical wars, rumors of wars, and visible evil of this world, there is a hidden or occult spiritual war occurring and only those who have eyes to see and ears to hear can discern it. Brothers and sisters in Christ from around the world have been prophesying that we are indeed in the end times, and it's hard not to notice. If you have not been saved by Christ, it is my hope that you will find curiosity in these worldly events, and that this curiosity will eventually lead you to learn that Yeshua, Jesus Christ, is the only salvation and way out of this mess. This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. God bless.